Hey guys, it's Santos here again. We're back with more Star Trek Online. I'm playing Dabo. Yes, I know. It's addicting, isn't it? <laughs> ah. So, last time, we did a story mission in the Gamma Quadrant arc. Okay, enough of that. Dear God, that was a long one. Works Lucky 7. So, today, we're going to be fit continuing with... Role player. Tenebris. That thing. Locating what's believed to be the whole home world, the Alliance sends a team to investigate with drastic consequences. Yep. Honestly, this is something I just do. Is every so often I'll just jump around on DS9 and see where the role players are and just play Dabo. I'm not bothering them. They don't bother me. So occasionally I'm asked to join in. Okay, I'll join in. Otherwise, I just keep to myself and I leave them to be. And that's how you handle role players. Some encourage you to do walk up, others let them invite you. But let's get this started. Researchers led by my friend Dr. Bashir have isolated several fascinating aspects of Herc biology. I'm told this data provides insight on their native environment, specifically a metallic planetoid orbiting a pulsar within a nebula. There's one system that meets these requirements, Havas Kool in the Gamma Quadrant. I'm going there to investigate along with Captain Kira in the Defiant. Dr. Bashir will accompany us as well. His insight will be critical to the mission's success. The doctor believes we'll find what we need to end this conflict on Havas Kool. If he's right, and he often is, I'm willing to travel to the heart of enemy territory. Won't you join us? Sure. Let's see, some more Ketracel, Dilithium, Flare. It's just like the Hunter Flare in WoW. And Junk Loot. However, the picture shows an environmental suit will be needed. Let me make sure I have five environmental suits. So one, two, three, four. Watch the wheel, not the girl. Okay, I need to stop at my bank and pick up another Be environmental you. suit. Okay, now that we're out of range of the role players. Did I seriously just run all the way around? There it is. Bank. Uh, do I have another environment? Yes. I have one more suit. EV suit. So one, two, three, four, five. Five environmental suits. All right. I know that armor from somewhere. I'm trying to place it. I think it's one of the Undine sets. Undine, Undine. 8472. There we go. And... I hope I don't have to travel and it starts here, but... Knowing my luck. Okay, yep, we got to go for a travel. Okay, so where is this place? Oh, damn, as far away as possible. Oh, it looks like the battleground just reset. Kylo Ren, one of the members of my fleet, has all 12 rep shields. Let's pop my slip screen. Transwarp, warp 30. Yeah, I should be there fast enough. I mean, we got nothing to talk about right now. I, because it said meet at DS9, so you think, okay, start at DS9. Eh, let's see how my own endeavors are going. Uh, eight, eleven, two. 
11.750. No, it's going to be in two more days before I reach it. But yeah, so these are all the Endeavor perks you can get. Drain Specialist, Health Regen. Unfortunately, you can't toggle them. So maximum Shields, your max Health. So, yeah. Crit Severity. <laughs> Doesn't affect your crit hit chance, but oh man, when you pack a hit, land a critical. Because right now, I have crit damage, crit hit, crit damage times four. I do 100%. I do basically do double crit damage with these fangs. I love these things. That and my sniper rifle, 4x shield pin, bypass the shields completely. And this, 50% shield penetration. Combine that with a uh, tachyon harmonic. Might as well not even wear shields. Or have them equipped because I can collapse them in an opening volley. And most people don't use snapper rifles. Oh, here we go. Okay. Go meet up with Garrick's fleet. Begin the mission. Have a cool system. Hmm, interesting. All right, cutscene. I have to say, the survey reports on this system really don't do it justice. A nebula, a pulsar, dark energy, and the Herc home. I'm not reading any Herc on sensors. Nor I. Isn't that strange? One would think they'd place a heavy guard on their home system. How peculiar. Let's use this opportunity to look around. Quietly, of course. Agreed. So, Pulsar, Dark Energy, the Nebula. We're reading a number of interesting phenomena, despite interference from the Nebula. Let's see. Plethora heavy metallic compounds and a hotbed of tetrion and thermobaric energy throughout the nebula. Huh? Okay. There's a moon nearby. Preliminary scans aren't showing much, but it's just the kind of place the Herc could be using to hide a base. Or a fleet. I'd like to take a closer look. Okay, let's go. We'll pop the cloak just to be safe. The pulsar's throwing off a lot of hazardous energy. Yeah. I don't like this. Most the scans are showing a lot of bare Let's make rock, the appropriate no shield metals, adjustments. Compounds. It's a lot like. Sorry. Like it's being completely stripped of anything remotely useful. The calling card of the Herc, if I'm not mistaken. Perhaps we should send down a probe just to be absolutely sure. Could be some Herc down there, hidden by the nebula's effect on our sensors. Okay, I'll send it. It's barely Class D. No metals, complex compounds, liquids, or atmosphere. The interior is a complex maze of tunnels. Thousands of them. Huh. This Blood matches Herc patterns we've seen elsewhere. They've been here. The probe is online and transmitting. Science teams are taking a close look at the incoming data, but it doesn't look terribly promising. Shall we forge on? There's a lovely planet nearby, no doubt filled with a bounty of toxic rocks and metallic solids. Okay. Bit by chiggers recently. Holy little buggers. And I don't know, it's the middle of winter. You'd think they'd be dormant or in hibernation or something. Entering scanning range now. 
Oh, let's see what's going on. Its astronomic readings are strange. The planet has a highly eccentric orbit. Looks like it collects matter from the nebula as it sweeps around the pulsar, all while being bombarded with radiation. Definitely not habitable by most standards, though it's not quite demon class. That's why. An orbital period of several thousand years. That explains the Herc life cycle. They must hibernate while the planet is at the far range of its orbit. This orbit coincides with the previous emergencies of the Herc. The thousand year cycle explains why they appear suddenly, then vanish just as quickly. Interesting. We're reading complex structures here, along with power systems and technology. This could be a base of operations for the Herc. It appears to be deserted. Why don't we take a look around? Okay. Let's meet on the Defiant. We'll need to make some preparations before we send an away team down there. Okay. Let's go. I've sent a team down to establish a secure zone. They're ready for you, but you'll want to put on an EV suit before you beam down. We have some in that container for you to use. Once you're suited up, we'll beam you down to the secure zone. It's just below the planet's surface in a large cavern area. Okay. Or activate your own. All right, so we'll put mine on. Activate it. Okay. And now for my bridge officers. You get that one. You get that one. You get that one. And you get that one. Okay. Step on the transporter. Cavern. Yeah, Okay. Oh, gotta do this. Crewman Williams, Crewman Kane, Crewman Weir. names sound familiar I know weir is from Atlantis I should have a habitation area set up soon we can replace the reducing atmosphere in this cavern with standard oxy nitro and warm things up a bit Kane's keeping watch and weir is looking into other connected areas we should have a perimeter field up within a few minutes okay well let's go talk to uh, Ishimura reading a lot of background radiation and some wild magnetic fields. It's like the pulsar and the nebula are supercharging the metallic crystal compounds here. The environment's very different from anything we'd consider a habitable planet. It explains why the Herc are so alien. I'm quite a treasure for a geologist like myself. Oh, carry on. I have my priorities, people, as I've said several times. I needed that one. All right, what you got to find? Everything's in order here. Define. Do you still have a lock on us? Affirmative. If you need transport, there may be a slight delay due to pulsar emissions. Did you guys just see I that in the background? Something odd on my tricorder. the infamous near-death experience.
glad you're still with us. Whatever that was must have left you for dead. I'd get moving in case it comes back to make sure. Looks like you're in a series of tunnels that connect to a larger cavern. Garrick and Bashir are close to your position. They're moving into a large open chamber. Try to make your way to them. Okay. Be careful. Some of the crystal formations down there are emitting intense amounts of energy. We can't lock on to anyone with transporters, and the others are reporting the directed energy weapons won't work. This is Bashir. Garrick and I are alive, but we're a little lost. Huh. Yeah. Good thing I carry melee weapons. <laughs> Keep moving. You should head up to another chamber. The creature's in a passage near your location. Stay sharp. Garrick and I are moving into a very large, oblong chamber. Okay. And here I was, hoping those cozy, cramped little tunnels would make a Looks nice like vacation the door to the next chamber is locked. Oh, yeah. Those readings you're getting from that crystal node are interesting. It's generating a localized magnetic field. Manipulating that field could cause a response similar to pushing a button or flicking a switch. I wonder, do you think Herc can sense magnetic fields similar to sharks on Earth? Uh, stay on board. Yes, of course. I think you'll find a way to manipulate that magnetic field to open the door. The morphogenic crystals are probably the keys. So look for one nearby that has a similar output to the door node. Okay. Oh, let's complete this real fast. Just get up. Stop pestering me. The readings I'm getting on that crystal are weak. It probably isn't usable. All right. Next crystal. One's got an odd harmonic. Doesn't seem to match the rest. All right, next. It's always the third one. That's the one you need. Use it to open that door. Well, no, I may play it again and try it from a different angle. Feel point. All right, and we're in. Cutscene. Behind you. You can't fight that thing. Run. Okay, gotta go. There's a deep crevice ahead of you. See if you can get across. Hazardous energy and anti-gravity ahead. Use your thrusters. The creatures turn back. You must not like anti-gravity. Oh, come on. I only had 20,000 health. I could have taken it. Slow and steady. Don't get lost. Try to head up when you can. Garrick and I have a breathable atmosphere here. Everyone, try and reach our location. Williams here. I'm stuck in some kind of tunnel maze. Not sure how to get out. This one looks Ishimura like data. Ishimura here. My now system's useless. None of their starships I'll keep trying to find you all. 2,000 years ago. Their first designs were way ahead of most species at that time, though. Huh. How did they go from geniuses to the ravenous eating machines we're dealing with now. I wonder. Okay, I've got to do it. Ah! Kane, report. I just lost crewman Kane's vitals. Weir's comm signal is down, but he's still alive. Keep an eye out.
Ah. It's a timer event. There's accolades, I'm definitely gonna have to come back and look at this. Oh, gotta go up. Ooh, what's in here? So we're going this way now. Oh, I saw Bashir babies. and Garrick are just past this chamber. Keep left. We're picking up some interesting tech on sensors. Interesting and old. Very old. Most of it predates the Federation by several centuries. Uh, are you reading those energy patterns on the other side of that opening? They're far more intricate than the others we've seen. We think there's some kind of ship ahead of you. It shows signs of damage. You might be in some sort of dry dock or repair facility. Interesting. There are large gaps in tech level between each section of the facility. It's as if the herd learn as they hibernate. They wake up with a thousand years of advancements at hand and get ready to work. Let's take a look. And I just dropped the mine. Oh, cool. Oh, you guys saw that, right? Alright, let's talk to- A pleasure to see you. We'll need all the help we can get if we're to leave this world alive. To that end, the good doctor and I have started to make sense of our surroundings. We seem to be in some sort of Herc Command Center. From here, we can begin to restore power in critical systems. Continue. Herc technology is driven by electromagnetic manipulation of morphogenic crystals. Doors, life support, everything, even their central computer. If we can find the right crystals, I can bring things back online. We can look for information on Herc biology within their data system. We might even find a cure here. Okay. I found a little information. This planet used to be rich in a type of fungus. It thrived in the harshest of environments, even areas high in pulsar radiation. It used to be a staple of the Herc diet until it disappeared from the ecosystem. Without it, the Herc began to suffer from a severe type of malnutrition. It led to a number of neurological disorders, many of which we've seen firsthand. Okay. Based on these readings, there should be more data storage units in the tunnels beyond this chamber. They're the ones by the door with the blue glow rods. One more thing. Some parts of the tunnels still have malfunctioning gravity systems. You should be able to navigate through them, but the energy fields in there will nullify your weapons, so be careful. Okay. All right, let's get going. All right, locked, locked. Next set. Um. Oh, hey. Moro's vitals just flatlined. Oh. 
It moved away from you and shrouded itself. Hmm. Send your officer to me so that I can address any injuries. That covers the first peaceful meeting between the Herc and the Founders over 3,000 years ago. Yeah, peaceful. Yeah, there are times it helps to be a place to be small. Can fit through narrower cracks. One of your officers has arrived here. Send your officer to me so that I can address any injuries. All right, get going. All right, let's. Oh, I should probably check, and make sure there's no uh, consoles in here. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Ah, the final member of my crew. armor. It's annoying, isn't it? Oh, that's close to me. I've got to use cold fusion. It moved away from you and shrouded itself. Really? Send your officer to me so that I can address any injuries. Ah. The Herc tried to synthesize the enzyme they needed for cognition. One of your failed. officers has arrived here. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, where do I need to go? Looks like I need to go back. Oh, no, this way. One of my officers has arrived. Hmm. So. <laughs> this does have a bit of a creepy vibe to it. Did I? Hang on. Did I just come from this way? One of your officers has arrived here. Okay. I'm lost. Which isn't that hard for me considering I managed to get lost on Deep Space Nine. Okay. This is unfamiliar. Okay, what's this? That's Kane's helmet. I have a feeling we won't find the rest of him. Yep, this way, okay. I need to refresh that pool here pretty soon. Anything down here? Let's go check this room first. When in doubt, use this. Okay. I've been here. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> That's all I can say is I'm lost. So we'll go this way this time. Okay, that's the main chamber. Okay. S 
so up this way. So we go the I came from that way. Let's go this way. That's where I found the helmet. Okay. So do I need to go up a level? Is it even possible to go up a level? Sure. Son of a bitch. Yeah, as I said, I have completely lost. So, we go this way. Ay, 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 ay. A maze of twisty, tiny passages. No kidding. Okay. So we go continue on this way. Okay. I was just in there. Okay, I saw it for just a second. So I need to get... So as long as I can keep that ahead of me, I should be able to navigate my way around. path up. Okay. You can't get through that one. Okay, yeah, I gotta go through that little crack. There we go. Okay. So I now have an idea of where I need to go. Okay, screw this. Finally, cooperated with me. Okay. What do we have here? There's the final storage crystal. My god. The enzyme the Earth need is a precursor to Ketracel.
It moved away from you and shrouded itself. Game over, man. So, Ketracel. I wonder if the founders adapted the Herc to be the Jim Hadar. Possibility. You never know. Find out. Unless the founders stripped all that fungus out to make catch yourself for the Dominion for the Jim Hadar. Nicely done. We should be able to translate Herc data files and run a detailed analysis of them at a greatly accelerated rate now. I have a good friend in Starfleet Engineering that would love to spend some time with this technology. The Herc have made some remarkable advances in their time. Gee, I wonder, could that friend be Miles O'Brien? Ah, the first results are in. Excellent. I have access to a few critical systems, including gravity and power generation. Bringing them online now. That should make things go a little smoother. Indeed. I'm getting some historical records now. Uh, give me a moment to process it. Well, this is not good. It's a record of the fall of the Herc civilization at the hands of the Dominion. For some reason, the Dominion removed the fungus from the ecosystem during the Herc hibernation cycle. Military conquest, most likely. This is what drove the Herc to madness. Called it. It appears we have some uninvited guests. You're a long way from Zenketh, Admiral. Yes. To what do we owe the pleasure? Ah, traveling incognito. One of her many covert identities, I suspect. This expedition of yours has gone on long enough. Touched a nerve, have we? You found a secret I've kept for millennia. Something I've kept from Odo and the Great Link. The origin of the Herc infestation. And your role in it. I needed soldiers to realize my dream of dominion. Enforcers willing to obey without question. Physically, the Herc were perfect candidates. But their peaceful, free-thinking nature was an obstacle. <laughs> in studying the Herc biology, I found the key to their loyalty. The Ketracel Precursor? Yes, I extracted it from their ecosystem. They had no choice. Obey or die. I take it things didn't go according to plan. No, they became savage, incoherent, volatile. With each cycle, the swarm grew larger, wilder. My ability to control them diminished. All I could do was point them in the direction of my enemies. I would let them rampage and await their eventual hibernation. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. They were a failure, but they provided a gift. Ketracel, the gift that led to a more successful endeavor. The Gem Hadar. <laughs> I think I've heard enough. I knew you were involved in this somehow. You built an empire on slavery, and now it's all falling apart. When the Alliance learns about this... But they won't. None of you are leaving this world alive. You would kill another founder? There were other founders who knew the truth once, like you. They did not want a dominion built on the backs of slaves. They tried to depose me, to expose the truth to the Link. They failed, and paid for their lack of vision. <sighs> All of you against the wall. Odo, this is getting out of hand. Stop this now. No, Odo. This is bigger than you. Bigger than us. The Dominion must endure. I'm afraid I can't allow that. What now? You've forced my hand. This is a modification of your own Herc lure. As we speak, every Herc in the Quadrant is homing in on the signal. And you're calling them here? To their homeworld? 
On the contrary, madam. I'm calling them to the Founder homeworld. Your chickens, as the humans say, are coming home to roost. Insanity! We will... Uh-oh. I guess I got to kill a uh, mutated Herc. Yeah, I need to dust my keyboard. Where'd it go? Hey, nope, nope, nope. Bad, bad bite. No touch. Uh, I should probably have to be threatening these guys. Where'd you go? So, where does the minion soldiers go? Some soldiers you are. I think that's our cue. Now that we have restored operations here, our ships will be able to lock onto us with transporters. I suggest we take advantage of this while we can. Yeah, let's get out of here. You? You did this? All of you? You killed a god? My god? My beautiful founder. God forever. I loved her so. And now you'll pay the price. Guards! Enough, Wayun. All of you, stand down. No! You betrayed her! And the Dominion! I will carry out her final order! That Founder is no more, Wayun. This Founder has given you an order, and you will obey. No! He is no Founder! She was a Founder! He is a traitor! Guards! Shoot to kill! All of them! Belay that order. What? We do not serve you, Vorta. Where this Founder leads, we will follow. Thank you, my friend. Fine. Then I'll do it myself. <laughs> Take Wayun into custody and return to your ship. We have business at the home world to attend to. Interesting. Very interesting. Tell me, was it part of your plan to draw every Herc in the sector to this system, Garrick? Because if it was, it worked with flying colors. <laughs> we need to get out of here and fast. Our only hope is to punch a hole through the swarm so we can go to warp. Okay. Alright. Party started. Try to hold them off. I'll see if I can arrange a distraction. Get a AOE out on him. Look at that. So, right off the hook swarms. I can do that, yeah. Well, the problem is, I'm out of AOE. about that. What's this thing? Ooh, 
Maya, a capital ship. For one thing to do. Got to unload it, but. Okay. So yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not looking directly at my screen because they're breaking off. This is actually they hurting my signal. eyes. The heading for the founder home. So combat drops. I think we're in the clear. The Herc have departed for the Founder homeworld. It will take them some time to reach it, even at maximum warp. We should make the most of that time and bring an end to this madness. The information that the good doctor found should do just that. For now, let's return to our respected fleets and prepare for the next and hopefully final steps of this journey. Continue. Thanks to Garrick, my home world is under siege. I realize there's not a lot of love lost to the Founders these days. But if the center of the Dominion falls to the Herc, the rest of the galaxy will soon follow suit. If you're willing to stand with us one last time, assemble your forces and rendezvous with my fleet in the Gamma Quadrant. I hope to see you there before it's too late for all of us. Okay. The distortion alone to be continued. Bum, dum, da, da. Insert JoJo music here. So, okay. There's a certain poetic symmetry at play here. The Dominion are about to receive their comeuppance from one of the many species they've abused. Regrettably, we Cardassians have some experience in such matters. Of course, our work is just beginning. We need to formulate a cure for the Herc before they devastate every system in the Quadrant. Hopefully, we can achieve this lofty goal before they make a meal of the Dominion. And again, science is often a lengthy, perilous process. I'm certainly glad to put Havas Kul behind me. Small, dark passages are not a passion of mine. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, let's take the only good thing here. Put the cooldown in on that. So, flare. Alright. So, yeah, that was... I already forgot the title. Tenderous... That thing. So, let's see what the reward is for home. Empersa, the home world of the Founders, is under attack by the Herc. This is our darkest hour. If Empersa falls, the Dominion will come to an end. I'm asking you to join in the defense efforts as soon as you can. A task force will assemble at my fleet's location in the Gamma Quadrant and warp to Empersa from there. Remember, if we fall, the Alpha Quadrant is next. Yeah. It's time to make a stand. I hope you'll join in the fight. Okay, so XP, Dilithium, ooh, and um, emote. Morphogenic Polaron energy weapons, huh? Polaron damage. What's its arc? Oh, it's, that's a turret. Okay. Why'd it have to be a turret? Ugh. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm primarily using Polaron. What's this thing? Huh, interesting. So, yeah. I could use your help with... That has been, uh... Tenebrous Tori... Words. So, yeah. Join us next time when we bail out the Founders. So, till then, I'm Thantos. Peace out.